Um, and, you know, there is such a thing as activist burnout. Um, but, you know, being at the Martin Luther King parade yesterday in Poughkeepsie and being here with you all tonight is actually really inspiring. Um, I guess some of you folks, you know, are just doing the activism thing or, you know, do, doing this important work. Um, you know, it, it's a fairly new thing for you. Um, and I, I just, I mean, the new energy and the people, there's so much synchronicity happening right now, I think, because there's so many, I, I, don't, I don't, you know, want to be too drastic about it, but to me, there's a lot of scary things going on. Um, Can we pulled it out a little? But w along with the scariness, I think, is, you know, an opportunity for people to um, come together. And, you know, I think that living in New York State, especially in Dutchess County in particular, um, I'm not just speaking to my audience, I think Dutchess County is like a really important place um, for several different reasons, which hopefully, you know, I have a limited amount of time, but, um, you know, the, the one thing is New York State politically is a freaking mess. I mean, you know, two of the three talking heads are now going to jail. Um, and I hate to repeat, you know, Rahm Emanuel, probably a lot of you guys know who he is, and he said every crisis creates an opportunity. I think he meant an opportunity for himself, but he's done some horrible things, but it, I think a crisis does create opportunities for good people to come together and really do important, positive things. And not only are we in a crisis politically in New York State with two of the three talking heads, whatever they're called, going to jail, um, but, you know, on top of that, um, you know, we, Fidel Moreno is here, and he did a little bit of bad talking about himself, but he didn't talk himself up too much, but he has an independent film that brings to life Standing Rock, um, and Standing Rock, I think, is really a tribute to, you know, the, I don't know how many people have been following the Standing Rock situation. Yes. You know, all the veterans who have gone there and said, I was taught to be a fighting force against God knows what, but now I'm going to be here to support the actual people against oil companies, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and that's kind of what I'm trying to do with this Burning Attorneys idea is I want to create um, a network of progressive <laughs> attorneys around the country. Um, and I love the idea, um, well, my memory is really shot, but um, <coughs> independent standing against Trump, is that what it was? In, no, indivisible. Indivisible against, against Trump. Great idea, and I think, you know, possibly there's some sort of, you know, there's all these circles out there where people kind of have their own thing they're doing, but hopefully there's overlapping things that we all can come together on, and if we can come together on those things where we overlap, then we can really do, you know, I think amazing things. And he was talking, I'm sorry, your name was? Bill. Huh? Bill. Bill. Bill was talking about, you know, basically what I would say in my own language is direct action. Yesterday with, you know, the MLK march, it was amazing. I got there, I got to Poughkeepsie, and there was a small group of people marching through the streets. And I was like, wow, you know, this is a community that I would think would have, like, thousands of people. But... What I witnessed after that, after thinking these negative thoughts, I saw all these kids running out of their house, marching with the, you know, wanting to see what was going on, and, and, and people in cars, and, you know, all these people, like, what are they doing? And then resonating with them, you know, oh, they're here to get the message out about MLK and what he stood for, and, you know, and it was just an amazing day. I, I really believe in direct action. So that's what I'm trying to do with my website is create a network of progressive attorneys who can work with regular people, who can go into every congressional district, hopefully, at some point, maybe it'll take them a year, maybe it'll take them two years, I want to start it here in Dutchess County, um, but we can, you know, go into the backyards of these congressmen and these senators and shine a light on them individually. If they're doing the wrong thing, we give them the stick. If they're doing the right thing, we give them the carrot. But, you know, and, and I love this stuff about, you know, there's DC action and putting these marches together and everything, but we gotta single these people out. I mean, if we don't single these people out, then it's just some broad, like, complaint about, yeah, we know things are bad, they're, they're wrong, they're, but 
if we can like you know shine a light on these individual players who are just happy to be there and whatever mm -hmm. they're you know they want to be you know whatever they're re they're, they're not there for the, too many of them are not there for the right reasons that's my opinion and I don't think I'd get too much of an argument from this room um, so I think if you know I, I would like to work with you know thank you so much to you know the Quackenbushes thank you to, so much mm -hmm. to Carolyn and her husband, I mean, you guys, this is amazing. I mean, it's raining, it's pouring, and people are coming out, pouring out to, like, you know, get involved, and that's amazing to me. It's beautiful. <coughs> um, so, you know, that's kind of my website, burningattorneys.com. Um, oh, yeah. please. <laughs> it's coming for all of us. They're coming for all of us, unfortunately. Um,